Hello and welcome to Pixel Magic Tutorials. I'm your host Geekman and today we're going to learn how to create a gel filled plastic text effect in Photoshop. Now a couple of assumptions I need to get out of the way right off the bat. Number one, I am using Photoshop CC 2018. So if you're using an earlier version of Photoshop, some of the effects may not work as expected. Second, I'm using Windows. So if you're using a Mac, when I say hit the control key on the keyboard, that's the command key. And when I say hit the alt key on the keyboard, that's the option key. So with all of that out of the way, let's get started by hitting control N on the keyboard to bring up the new image dialog box. And let's name this uh, gel filled plastic text. It's a mouthful, but that's what we're doing today. So 3,840 pixels by 2,160 pixels, 150 pixels per inch, RGB color, 8-bit, background contents, doesn't matter, we'll change it. Uh, color profile is sRGB and we're using square pixels. Hit create, we're ready to begin. Now the first thing that we're going to do is give, give ourselves a, a simple background just to throw this on. You don't have to follow this step if you already have a background. So let's just go to our gradient tool, that's G on the keyboard, that's a gradient tool over here on the toolbar. And uh, what you want to do is make sure that you select this uh, particular gradient, which is black and white gradient. And then you want to go over here and you want to uh, select the radial gradient, make it normal, opacity 100%, reverse is checked so that white is in the center, dither and transparency also checked. Find somewhere near the center of your document, click once, hold down shift, and drag outside of your document. Not inside, outside, because we don't want it to be full black on the corners, we want it to just be gray. So there we go, we now have a nice uh, white to gray gradient for our background, and that's really all we need to do there. The next thing that we're gonna do is we're going to put in our text. Now the font that I am using is something that's called Insani Burger, and I have a link in the description below where you can download this font for free. Okay, so let's go to our text tool, which is T on the keyboard, or you can go over here to the text tool on your toolbar. Now, you wanna open up your character palette. If you don't see it, just go up here to view, go down, uh, go to window, and then go down until you see character, click on that, and then your character palette will pop up. Now, like I said, I'm using Insani Burger. Uh, the font size that we're going to be using for this example is going to be 275 points. Okay, the uh, nothing else really matters except over here, uh, the uh, spacing between letters or the kerning, as it's called. I'm leaving that at 10. Uh, and the color, the color is important. Now, you can choose whatever color that you want for your gel-filled plastic text, uh, but I'm going to be using blue, which is what I usually think of when I think of gel-filled anything, like insoles or or, uh, or those hot pockets or, or things like that. Uh, so I'm going to be using blue, but feel free to use any color that you want. Just keep in mind that for the layer effects that we'll be doing later, you will need to change the colors that I give you to ones that match the color that you're using as your base color. So the color that I'm using here is 00DEFF, this nice bluish color. Okay, and that's really all that we need there. Then we're going to start typing in our text. So I click and I put in pixel magic as I always do. Okay, and then the, you want to check the spacing between your letters, like the A and the G is a little bit further away than the G and the I. So I'm going to tighten that up a little bit by putting my mouse in between the letters uh, so that the cursor pops up in between the letters. Then you hold down Alt and you use the arrow keys to move letters back and forth. Okay, and that looks pretty good to me, so that's good enough. Let's hit the check mark, then hit V on the keyboard to bring up your move tool or go over here to your move tool on the toolbar. Then click and drag until you reach the center, uh, which should be right there. Okay, so now we have our text ready to go and really all that we have to do is do uh, some layer styles. Okay, so let's get right down into it. Go down here on our layers palette to the layer styles. Click on bevel and emboss and we're off to the races. Okay, the style that we're going to use is inner bevel. Technique is smooth. Depth is 500. Uh, direction is up. Size is 20. Soften is 10. Angle here is going to be 145. Now make sure that you uncheck use global light. We're not going to be using that, so just make sure that that is unchecked everywhere that we see it. Uh, altitude is going to be 55 degrees. Gloss contour is going to be this guy right here, which is dome or cone. Sorry, it's cone. Uh, Anti-alias is checked. Highlight mode is linear dodge add. We're using white, which is all Fs. Opacity is going to be at 80%. Shadow mode is multiply. The color that we're using is a blue off, uh, a darker blue than our original blue, which is up here. So if you're using a color uh, other than the example color I'm giving you, just make sure that you make it a nice dark color. 003941 is what I'm using, and the opacity here is 70%. Then we want to click over here on contour, and the contour that we're using is this guy right here, which is called 
Gaussian inverse, anti-alias is checked, range is going to be at 50%. Next up, we're going to give this a stroke. So let's click on stroke, and the size here is going to be a 20. Position is inside. Blend mode is overlay. Opacity is 40%. Overprint is checked. That's important. Make sure it's checked. Color, and we're going to make this white, pure white, which is all Fs. The next thing that we're going to do is put on two inner shadows. So if you only see one inner shadow, click on the little plus icon over here, and then you will have two. And on the topmost inner shadow, what we want to do is make this a blend mode of linear dodge add. We want to click on this, and it's a nice, bright, nearly white version of whatever your base color was. In my case, that's D2F9FF. Okay, then what we want to do is hit opacity of 15%, angle, remember use global light is unchecked, 130 degrees, distance of 15, choke of 0, size of 25. The contour that we're going to be using here is this guy, which is ring. Let's see that, there it is. Okay, anti-alias is unchecked, noise is going to be at 0. Okay, uh, the next thing that we're going to do is the second inner shadow. Okay, and we are going to, wait, let me see something here. Uh, yes, off. Okay, so the second inner shadow here is going to be at hard light, uh, and the color is going to be a darker version of our base color, in my case, 00424C. Okay, opacity of 70%. Angle is going to be at negative 40 degrees. Use global light, of course, is unchecked. Distance of 22, choke of zero, size of 25. The contour that we're using here is called rounded steps. Uh, there you go. Uh, Anti-alias is unchecked noise of zero. Okay, next up that we're going to do is going to be an inner glow. So let's click on inner glow right here. And our blend mode here is going to be screen opacity of 15%, noise of zero. The color that we're using is going to be pure white. Uh, technique is going to be softer. Source is going to be center. Uh, choke of 10, size of 50. The contour that we're using here is ring double. Okay, and if you don't see all of these contours, you want to just go over here to the uh, sprocket. You want to go all the way down to the bottom, hit contours, and it says replace current contours with the contours from contours. Hit OK, and then you get to use all of these different contours. Okay, anti-alias here is going to be off, and we're going to do this a range of 30 and a jitter of 40%. Next up is going to be a satin. Okay, so we're going to click on satin here, and our blend mode here is going to be linear dodge add, and we're using pure white. That's all Fs. Opacity here is going to be at 75%. Angle is 113 degrees. Distance is 15. Size is 38. The contour that we're using here is this guy right here, which is called rolling slope descending. Anti-alias is checked. Invert is unchecked. Okay, and that is all that we need there. What we're going to do now is we're going to make this semi-transparent. So we can uh, close up that, and we're going to keep our, our uh, text layer selected, and we're going to go here to fill, not to opacity, but to fill, and we're going to make that 50%. So let's bring that down to about 50%. There you go. And we now have our uh, inside of our text, uh, of our gel-filled plastic text, now looks like this. Now. We're going to give this the more plasticky feel uh, by putting this into a group and then putting uh, some layer styles onto the group itself. Okay, so that's what we're going to do now. We're going to create a new group with, right down here at the bottom of our layers palette. We're just going to click on that. Let's just name this uh, text so that we know what we've got in there. And then we're going to grab our text and put it inside of our group you got to select the actual group and make sure that it's on pass-through there. You don't need to change anything else. Just make sure that it's on pass-through. And then we're going to add in some of these layer styles. So we're going to go here to bevel and emboss. Okay, so here's what we're going to do. We're going to make this an inner bevel, smooth, and we're going to lower this uh, percentage down to just 200%. Okay, the direction here is still going to be up. Our size is going to be 20, but our soften is going to be 1. Then what we're going to do is change our angle here from 145, we're going to change it down to 120. And our use global light, of course, is off. 55, that can stay just like that. Our gloss contour here is going to be ring double. Ring double is this guy, if you remember, so that's what we're going to click. Anti-alias here is going to be unchecked. Make sure that that is off because when it's on, it doesn't look the same. So off. Uh, highlight mode is going to be linear dodge add. We're going to be using pure white, which is all Fs. Okay, and we're going to leave this at 80%. 
Our shadow mode, however, will be multiply, and it will be the color that we had before, which is going to it's going to be the same as our other color, which is 003941. Okay, but we're going to change the opacity here from 70 all the way down to 20. Okay, and you can see it's starting to look pretty cool. Next thing that we're going to do is give this a contour. Okay, and the contour that we're looking for is going to be that rounded steps guy, which is right down there. Okay, anti-alias is going to stay checked, and range is going to stay at 50%. Next thing that we're going to do is we're going to give this a stroke again, and it's going to be the exact same stroke that we used before. So our size is going to be at 20 pixels. Position is going to be inside. Blend mode is overlay. Opacity is going to be 40%. Overprint is still checked. Fill type is color, and the color that we're using is pure white, which is all Fs. Okay, then the last thing that we're going to do is we're going to give this a little bit of drop shadow to add some depth. Okay, and we're going to use two different drop shadows. So if you only see one, click on the little plus and that will give you two. And on the topmost one, we're going to give it a blend mode of normal. And the color that we're going to be using is a darker color of our base color, which is, in my case, is going to be 004853. Uh, wait, let me make sure about that. 004853, yes. Okay, and then uh, what we're going to do here is our opacity is going to be at 36%. Our angle is going to be at 135. Let's make sure that our use global light is unchecked. Distance is going to be a 44. Spread is 0. Size is going to be a 24. Contour is going to be linear. Anti-alias is unchecked. Noise is 0. And layer knocks out drop shadow is checked. The next thing that we're going to do is add in our last little drop shadow. That's going to give this kind of a cool effect. And we're going to make this blend mode darker color. We're going to use the color of pure black, which is all zeros. Opacity is going to be only 25%. Angle is 135. Use global light is unchecked. Okay. Our distance is 34. Spread is zero. Size is going to be 21. And the contour that we're using here is this guy right here again, which is going to be our rolling slope descending. Anti-alias is unchecked. Noise is zero. Layer knocks out drop shadow is checked. And that is all she wrote. As you can see, this looks pretty cool, and I hope that you enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, please leave me a comment, give me a thumbs up, and subscribe. I do new tutorials every Tuesday. And once again, this is Geekman signing off for Pixel Magic Tutorials.